In this video, we will show you how to replace your washer fluid line. On this Chevy Tahoe, you'll have part of this located up along the top of the vehicle, but you'll also have some of it down underneath the vehicle. Let's get into it. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. The first thing we're going to have to do to remove the battery is get this out of the way. On each end of it, you're going to find that you have a 10 millimeter headed bolt. Remove the pair and the rod. Now we can start disconnecting the battery. When you do this, it's important to start with the negative battery terminal first. Use an eight millimeter wrench, loosen this up and remove it from the battery. Now, once you've done that, continue on to removing the positive. For this, we'll be using a 14 millimeter wrench. Go ahead and give that a wiggle and remove it from the battery as well. Slide this right out of the way. Now down inside this area, you're going to find a 13 millimeter headed bolt that holds down the battery hold down. Let's remove that mounting bolt and the battery hold down. There's the hold down, there's our bolt. Put those together and set them aside. Now that we have the hold down out of there, let's start removing the battery. As you start lifting this up, be extremely careful because it is heavy. Now that we have the battery out of the way, we can start disconnecting our washer fluid hose. For that, we're going to come right up along here and we'll give this a little tug to separate it. We'll just give that line a quick inspection, make sure it is still reusable. Now we can follow this forward to its connection points. We'll pop that out there. And now we can keep following that forward to this connector. For this, we'll just use a pick and pry it apart. Now that we have that separated, continue following it down to the washer fluid reservoir. We'll pull this right out of place. Now let's make our way underneath the driver's side front of the vehicle. Now we can make our way underneath the vehicle. You're going to find the washer tank on the driver's side. Now keep in mind before you pull off this black hose, if there's washer fluid in the tank, it's going to come out all over the place. So make sure you have a collection bucket under the area. We'll pop this out of place. Now we can make our way back up top and pull this up and out. Now from back up top, let's go ahead and take hold of that and we'll slide it up and out of position. There it is friends. Let's get ready for the installation of our washer fluid line. We'll start sliding this down in here. There we are. Now we can make our way underneath the front of the vehicle and we'll reconnect that line to our washer fluid pump. Just slide it right on there and make sure it's nice and secure. Back up top, let's reconnect our hose. Now we can start following it over to its mounting points. Lock that in. Now we can follow that over to the washer fluid tank and slide that into position. Reinstall your battery. Let's continue on to that battery hold down. This can be a little bit difficult to get your hands in here. Just get it in position, start in that mounting bolt and then snug it up.
Make sure your battery is secure. Reconnect your positive battery terminal first. Make sure we start it in by hand so we're sure it's not cross-threading into position. Make sure that's nice and snug. Put the cover on that. Continue on to your negative battery terminal. Make sure that's secure as well. Let's put on our bracket. Start these in. Once they're started, snug them up. Okay friends, we've got our battery tray installed. At this point, you can go ahead and close the hood and take your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.